Welcome back, everybody. Today we are going to help you sprout sprouts. They're easy to make right in the comfort of your own home, and they are a nutritional superstar. Maria Vial is the certified holistic nutritionist we love here. She joins us with easy instructions for growing sprouts, plus delicious ways to add them to salads, to soups, sandwiches, and so much more. Good morning to you, Maria. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. So sprouts, here's the deal. I accidentally grew some, mainly because I was trying to grow broccoli and I planted way too many seeds. So I ended up <laughs> eating the sprouts. But these are some of the most nutrient dense, dense foods you can actually grow, right? Yeah, and you can use seeds, but you can really sprout any like legume, nut, grain, any of those can be sprouted. But yeah, when you sprout the food, it actually unlocks like so many minerals and vitamins and enzymes, more so than the actual um, seed or nut or um, bean itself. So what vitamins or minerals, what's, what's in sprouts that's so, that makes them so good for us? Well, it's gonna be different, obviously, depending on what kind of sprout you make, but in general, they're really high in things like magnesium and manganese. Things like broccoli sprouts, Tiff, are really high in sulforaphane, which has been shown to have um, good anti-cancer properties. So they are just packed with these enzymes and actually they're high in protein as well. So for example, if like you sprout lentils, lentils are high in protein on their own, but if you sprout them, you actually increase their protein and you increase the body's ability to absorb the nutrients found in the sprouts. So they just have so many amazing properties to them. So here's the deal, you're doing this indoors. Mine, like I said, were accidentally planted, but how do you do this at home? Because a lot of people are gonna be like, well, I want all those benefits. Yeah, absolutely. So super easy. So a lot of people are like, well, where can I get sprouting seeds? So most people have like dried lentils or legumes or even things like quinoa probably in their cupboard already. And for those, what you want to do is you want to soak them overnight, like in a mason jar. So you're going to fill up the mason jar with like maybe a cup of the lentil or the grain, and you're going to cover it with water and let it sit on the countertop overnight. Um, and then from there, you're going to drain out that water and you're going to just water it three times a day. Now that's for, like I said, lentils or grains um, or beans even um, and nuts. Now, if you're going to sprout seeds, you know, here I have some clover sprouts or like alfalfa sprouts, like kind of the sprouts you're used to finding like in the grocery store or well, I would say the salad bar, but no one's venturing in salad bars right now. Exactly. Um, <laughs> But the sprouts that you're kind of familiar with finding, um, what you do is you just take the table, two tablespoons of the sprouts and you put it in a large mason jar. So you just put the two tablespoons in there and then you actually just put a little bit of water, shake it around. Um, what I find helpful is if you can get like a wire mesh um, top. So you can just make this with your own wire or you can easily find this like at a online or like at a sprouting um, resource or maybe even your health food store and you screw it on the mason jar so you just mix it with the water and you drain it so you're going to do that three times a day so think like breakfast lunch and dinner or it really doesn't matter time wise and then you're going to just either sit it on its side on a table or you can prop it up uh, with something so it's a little bit on an angle and you're literally going to do that like i said three times a day add water drain it add water, drain it. That's it. That's it? That's it. And so for the first two days, you're going to be like, this doesn't seem like anything's going on. <laughs> By the end of the second day or the third day, you're going to start seeing these little, you know, sprout little tails coming out of the seed and then by the end of the fourth day you're going to have like a full on like whole mason jar just full of sprouts. In four um, days? Four days? Yeah, in four days. So again, Whoa. depending on the sprout can take, like for green lentils, um, these actually only took about three days to sprout. They got their like little, little tails to them after soaking. Um, lentils and grains take a little bit less time. Um, seeds and nuts might take a little bit longer, but the bang for your buck to do it at home, you know, a little container at the store is probably like three, four dollars. Yeah. That's two tablespoons. You probably get like at least two containers worth. 
And like a bag of sprouting seeds might set you back like maybe between ten and fifteen dollars. <laughs> But it's so get... funny that you just used the expression set you back. Oh, oh really? Oh, well, it might set you back. Um, but you're probably going to get at least 10 to 12 jars full. So if you think about the price comparison, there's none. And plus, you know that they're fresh. That's the other thing with sprouts at the grocery store. You're not quite sure how fresh they are, how long they've been sitting there. And you really don't want to like, you know, sometimes you get sprouts and they're a little slimy, um, which means don't eat them. But after they're done sprouting, you can just keep them in your refrigerator. Um, and I say use them up within like the week. That is okay, so, cool. so before you show us how to eat or what to use them on, just show like with your hand, like how long should they be when they're at their peak nutrition, you know? And then also, do they need to be in the sun when you're growing them? Uh, no, actually you want to keep them in a cool, dark, like, dark, dry place. You want to keep them like uh, on the counter under a cover. They don't need to be, it doesn't need to be like dark, but you don't want them in the sun. That might speed it up too fast. When they're done, so I don't know if you can see this, but this little green lentil sprout, can you see that? Yeah. Really... Yeah. It's like an inch. So yeah, it's probably about like, yeah, I'd say like a little, an inch or less. That usually means that they're done if you're doing like, uh, like a lentil or like um, a nut. Thing like grains are going to be a little bit smaller um, sprout, but when they're done, then I'd say set them in the sun. Let them kind of dry off a little bit so that you kind of dry up the moisture before putting them in the refrigerator, and that will help keep them um, good longer. Okay, we ran out of time, but really quick, you suggest using them on top of salads. You can use them in soups. That's interesting. Wraps smoothies or sandwiches to add delicious flavor, but also pack it with powerful nutrients. Yeah, absolutely. And even things like lentils you could, or chickpeas, you could easily just eat those on their own. You could add a little bit of salt and they're really good just plain, um, like a little crunchy snack as well. So yeah, you can add them to everything. And a little bit goes a long way, so don't be afraid. It's wonderful. Thank you so much, Marie. Yeah. We appreciate oh, it. You're welcome. You're welcome. And to rewatch this segment to, to grow sprouts, uh, why wouldn't you? Go to themorningblend.com. That was so great.